Hello and welcome to another episode of Intune.Training, the place to learn how to use Microsoft Intune, the Steve and Adam show with, well, Adam and Jake. Hey, Jake. How's it going? Pretty good. Hey, so, uh, I, uh, you know, the guys aren't here to celebrate, but at least I, I want to throw this out there. So um, for, for our loyal followers, uh, Jake's been with us for a little over a year now, right, Jake? Somewhere around that, yeah. Um, and, well, we've, we've got a um, we've got some news uh, Jake was recently awarded uh, Microsoft MVP for Enterprise Mobility. So, congratulations, Jake! Um, Thank you, I appreciate you it. Absolutely deserve it, and um, we're we're glad to glad to have you in the ranks, man. Appreciate it. It's nice to see you back on video. I know it's been a while for you. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. That's uh, th- we've just had some interesting scheduling things with family and other stuff happening. So, uh, sorry about that. But yep, I'm here at least for today. Uh, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> well, what are we going to be talking about today? Oh, oh boy. Um, okay, so I've been wanting to do this one for a while, and um, I know that the we've we've kind of done the how to get started things a couple times, and um, uh, but one of the things I noticed that we've never really done is we've never done a how to how to set up your a dev instance of Intune. So. We've always kind of shown how to set up Intune for production, where you start with the Intune trial, and here's how you set it up, and all these things so you're as saying you're going to set it up it for prod. your business. Well, yeah, I mean, you could do it in prod, but um, there's there's kind of this way in that gives you enough access to do a lot of things without having to deal with a trial exp- ex- uh, subscription that's going to expire. Now the caveat here is that you don't get the money um, that comes with the the um, trial. Like I think the trial gives you like two hundred dollar two hundred dollars in Azure credits or something for your first mm-hmm. month, something along those lines. And this route, um, fairly certain, doesn't provide that. That's not a benefit of this. Um, but it will allow you to get in and get some licenses for um, for M three sixty five and be able to um, kind of get you started. For home labbing for Intune, and so um, uh, and, and really honestly, like for the for almost everything that we've done, uh, and of course I'm getting a bad internet connection uh, message. We'll see. I can't win with this computer. Um, for for most of the stuff that we've done within Intune, there has been no cost associated mm-hmm. with it. There are absolutely some caveats to that. So there's some licensing involved with like getting E5s or um, E3s, you know, certain, yeah. uh, e- even E3s. So being able to bump up those subscriptions and things. Um, and uh, if you're moving into like the uh, when the um, Windows 365 world and that sort of stuff, like those things potentially are going to have costs associated. But for home labbing, you can do like pretty much all of Intune, uh, all cloud-based with this. Now. You can also start from a lab if you wanted to spin up like a home lab with physical machines and maybe have an Active Directory and and do the uh, go that route as well. And so I think we might have us uh, do another video where we kind of talk through how to set up a lab and then connect it all together. Maybe um, that might be cool. So anyway, we're going to get you started with setting up a, a developer subscription uh, tenant for um, and I say subscription, it's not really, sorry, and not really a developer. Trial, yeah. Yeah. Um, so here we go. So here's how I do it. <laughs> so um, Microsoft 365 developer uh, I program. I want screen out too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Let's do that. Thanks, Jake, because that would have not been great. Okay. So there we go. So we can see join the Microsoft 365 developer program today. Um, and I don't know why my enter search term is still sitting there. Let me see if I can clear that. Let's see how I don't even know where that came from in the chat. Maybe something. Thanks, teams. I appreciate you, teams. Oh, whatever. Anyway, sorry about that artifact. It is what it is. We're, we're just living with it. Do it live. OK, so here we go. Join the Microsoft 365 developer program today. The free sandbox tools and other resources you need to build solutions for the Microsoft 365 platform. Um, so you get a free renewable 90-day Microsoft 365 E5 developer subscription. That is really cool. So it includes 25 licenses, 
for development purposes. Now, here's the really the big deal here. Um, don't abuse this. Don't try to use this for production. Don't and also don't build your personal, you know, tenant on this and say, oh, hey, wow, nice. you know, yeah. you know, don't. This is this is for you to learn. Um, but as long as you're actively using and building in your tenant, um, your trial subscription will continue to renew. Um, and so it's pretty cool. So you get um, the uh, you get 25 licenses. You get um, Office 365 Advanced Threat Protection, Power BI. You get the, EMS the is ability, one ones, compliance. Yeah. You get Active Directory. So um, and, and what's great is you can, you know, if you want, you can add on and like purchase a subscription or something along those lines. But you, you obviously don't have to do that. Um, so anyway, we're gonna give it, give this a shot here. So join now and. Well, there we go. Don't switch. Thanks. Um, OK, so now we need uh, a Microsoft account and we don't have one. So we're going to create one real fast. And so we're going to um, I think last time we did like intern dot training or something. Right. Um, so. Tune train secretary this time around. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Secretary dot training huh? um, in tune training Adam at um, Oh, there we go. So then we're going to please include, what did it say? Just throw like an ad outlook at the end. Please include an ad in the email address. It's mini. Okay. Why do we want to do that? You have to do like at outlook.com or at live.com. All right. Here we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. That's what we want. Okay. So we get to do the at outlook. All right. So Intune Training Adam. That's, that's spelled Save out. that to a notepad file. We're probably going to. I got it. That. I got it. Okay. Now, this was that fun part last time where we had a really hard time with the password and didn't like all that stuff. Um, OK, and then we're going to create a um, I think we all online collectively share this birth date. Um, oh, they, I can't do 1900, huh? They've caught on, Jake. We're older now. Younger I feel now. like there's there's people that have lived past 121. I feel like it, yeah. uh, but clearly they put some stuff in there. OK, so uh, we've got to solve the puzzle. Rotate, rotate, rotate it. I feel like we've done this live before um, where it's we a new record um, 2.9 seconds where we did this for the other the, the actual Intune um, subscription tenant and stuff. Um, OK, so we're going to be United States. So and company uh, training. Uh, dot Adam. Oh, well, let's see. We can maybe do it without the. Except I don't want to. What's any... nice too when we created this account is right after we entered, you know, the username, password, it immediately jumped us right into creating the developer program. Yes. Now you absolutely could have used an existing Microsoft account mm -hmm. to do this. Um, uh, any of your personal accounts that you can't use your your company account, you would have to do um, a, a Microsoft account. But um, so we want to tell it we want to do some Microsoft Graph stuff and let's see identity sounds good. Uh, we'll show you resources to help you. You got to select SharePoint because everything SharePoint. Have you gotten emails from those people? Because man, <laughs> okay, um, okay. So now we have signed up for the developer program and now we get um, some tools and training. So we told it the kind of things that we wanted and so there's quick starts and concepts so you can absolutely search through these things. This is based on what we what we told it we wanted. So we want Azure AD um, and OK, so we got graph and that's what we get. So you've got some uh, some options here on things you can go and read and look at and understand. So it is really, you know, it's designed to help you as a as a developer get through this stuff. Um, look, you can link to your uh, GitHub account too. OK, so here we go. So we're going to set up our E5 subscription. And so we're going to create a username. So we're going to do Adam, and then we're going to create a um, a, a new domain. So in tune, uh, uh, in tune training, Adam, because that's going to be long enough, huh? Okay. In you and save that. And we're going to text a phone number here. And I don't have another screen, so. We're going to uh, blur it out and post. Yeah. 
actually, you know what? This is just, I'm going to save myself the blur. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sending myself a code. And when I get the code, I'm entering it. You guys have seen this kind of stuff before. So you'll you'll notice that this is almost exactly the same steps to as we did to set up a um, an Intune subscription um, previously. So it's it's definitely not unlike that. Um, but it's a just felt like it's worth showing that it's a that you that you do have the option to do this developer thing and um, and uh, add this yourself. Okay, so now we have. Uh, a renewable E5 subscription. So if we go to the subscription, this is just like when we get to um, our production trial tenant. And there we go, it's a brand new subscription. So we need to assign products to ourselves, And so we're going to sign in with our new on Microsoft account. That is weird. Did I just completely miss the display name piece of that where they asked for it my automatically set it for you? OK, that is. Very interesting. Uh, all right, whatever, that's yeah, <laughs> product licenses. Yeah, there we go. So we're going to add a license. OK, so I do have a developer yeah. license and then you can see we have all of these pieces that we can add on to our subscription. And if we scroll all the way down, here's the one we want right there. Look at that, Microsoft Intune. Now, one thing to note, you'll see that all of these say without Windows and audio conferencing. Kind of gets confusing because they roll both of them together, but the without Windows piece is important. Um, what that means is uh, you, so when you go to build a VM, it's going to tell you to activate um, Windows because you don't have a Windows license, um, or potentially it will ask you to activate Windows, depending on what media you're using and stuff. But um, ver like when you're doing an MSDN subscription or something like that, where you have access to the media, you get licenses associated with those. So you don't have licenses for Windows with this, but that's generally not a problem when you're doing this stuff in a lab. Dev lab, exactly. Um, but the other piece about this is that it also um, the Windows license is required, an E5 Windows license is required for all of the security center things. So all of the E5 level defender for endpoint and advanced threat protection and all the all of the things in the security center, you also will not have access to those. Um, once again, not really a huge thing, um, but you know, still you know something to. If you want to tinker mind. with that, you'd have to get your hands on an enterprise key. Yeah. Um, okay. So. Uh, so now we've got our, our user uh, with licenses assigned. We can add another user if we want or whatever. But then from here, we can just go to uh, portal. And oh, you're on there first. All right. Well, yeah, because we need to go change this username because it's ridiculous. You don't want to type that out? Not really. Um, well, I mean, we, we could. I, I meant my, my the FNLN. All your display well. name. Uh, yeah. Okay. So then from here we can just go into manage Active Directory and we can do all the other the things we've done for. So the and I don't really want to walk all the way back through the the rest of this because um, we've gone through this numerous times um, in our other videos on like there's one that's an autopilot quick start which where we walk you through from nothing all the way through getting to autopilot. So we've we've already kind of done that. But the main point was getting you set up with your um, uh, with your developer subscription. So there we go. Okay, so I've changed my name. I feel much better about that. Um, and then that's that's kind of you know getting you started. So we'll, we will link in the uh, description. We will link to the getting started video, so you can jump from uh, from here to there right for the rest of it because it just all overlaps. Um, but the important piece to know here is that you do in fact have um, Intune licenses with this and everything else. Now we, well, that's weird. I must not have typed that in properly. And you'll see it even already has our, as Intune already set up, ready to go for us. And now we just gotta enroll some things. Um, so simple as that, pretty straightforward. 
kind of cool. We didn't have to mess around with licensing. We didn't have to do any of that kind of stuff. Um, and if you go and look in your licenses and products, you will see uh, your 25 license E5 developer subscription, and you can go to town with it. So you can have up to 25 friends in here. Um, everything works, mail, uh, OneDrive, Power BI, all the things other than the stuff that we mentioned uh, not included with the Windows license. Um, so that's kind of it. What do you think, Jake? Easy peasy. I can't tell you how many of these I've set up. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a lot of all the products sitting, it, sitting yeah. out there. Well, it's great because I mean, this is what they. This is they have Why scaled their environment mm -hmm. out for specifically to allow us to do uh, this type of stuff. Because if you can learn this on the side, you can mm -hmm. be useful at your you know at your company if you or you can just help yourself and build your career so i think it's kind of cool awesome. so that's it that's how you get started with a developer subscription the end <laughs> all right jake take it easy you too man